Okay, we're uh, going to have a quick look at the Sony VAIO uh, Z series. Okay, so this is the new 2011 Z series from Sony. It's, it's really unique in, in many ways. Um, first of all, it's a really powerful yet compact machine. So it weighs under 1.2 kilograms. It'll give you seven hours worth of battery on one charge. And in there, you can have the latest i7 processor and eight gig of RAM. Where it's really unique is this over here that we see over on the right hand side of the machine, the power media dock. What this has allowed us to do is create a really unique proposition where I can carry this machine around with me all day and I haven't got to carry my dedicated graphics card and my optical drive with me because actually they live in my power media dock which sits in my office or, or in my home. So I can make the most of having the ultimate portability and the lightest possible machine when I'm working out in the field in the day. And then when I get home, I can connect up via Sony's proprietary port over here and based on Intel's light peak architecture and that gives me my dedicated graphics card and optical drive and actually loads more connectivity just like uh, a standard docking station would do. So I can have the ultimate portability on the move and then the ultimate power when I get home and want to use it from the office. I mentioned that it had a seven hour battery life. Um, we also have a unique slim sheet concept battery. So it's a battery that's actually the same footprint as the machine itself and it clips onto the bottom. You can put that on or take it off uh, while the machine's on, you don't need to boot down, you can just add or take that battery away at any time, and that will give you a further seven hours worth of battery. So potentially from one machine, that remember is really powerful, at yeah, i7 and 8 gig of RAM, I can get 14 hours worth uh, of battery on one charge, or enough to fly to, say, New York and back. Um, what hard drives have you got? Hard drive is solid state, and um, we're available as 128 gig or 256 in array configuration. Okay, um, and how big is the screen? The screen is 13.1 inches yep. and it's 1600 by 900, so above uh, HD. And it's got like an anti-reflective coating, is that yeah, right? Yeah, it's our top of the range screen, so via Display Premium, that gives you a wider viewing angle than normal and the anti-reflective coating. And also it's slightly brighter and has slightly better colour reproduction than our standard screen. And uh, what kind of cost are we looking at for the, both of them? Uh, it's difficult to say with the UK market because obviously we can't set retail prices. Um, in the UK, certainly to start with, it will be available as two SKUs, an i5 and an i7. Both will come bundled with the, uh, the unit in the box, the power media dock, and I would guess very roughly £2,000-ish. And um, how much for the extra battery? Uh, the extra battery on the model below it, so the S series, is around two hundred pounds. Like very so similar, similar to that. I guess then. I would think for the the new Z. Okay, and the the media dock can be a DVD player or op, or opt, opted to have a Blu-ray instead. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so if you uh, if you purchase online from Sony.co.uk, um, it does give you a couple of extra configurations options. So you'll be able to choose to have the Blu-ray drive rather than the DVD, and actually you can specify a full HD screen rather than the 1600 by 900 screen. And it can uh, output up to four monitors at the same time? It can do, yes, uh, including the machine including itself. The machine. So for someone who's a, a graphics professional or a scientist who yeah. works from multiple screens, as soon as they get home or back to the office and dock it up, it will give them their, their workload across up to four monitors. So can we just have a quick look at the ports on, on both of them? Yeah, of course you can. So on the right-hand side, we've got our VGA. Over on the left-hand side, your HDMI, which can output in 3D as well, your Ethernet port, and then effectively two USB ports, yeah. one of which can do USB 3, and then also our optical light peak proprietary port. Yeah. And then for the docking station, actually a, a loader port, so we've got one USB on the top, and then on the rear, we've got a chunk of connectivity, a USB 3 and another USB 2, Two video outputs, so HDMI and your VGA, and then your gigabit flat. And what graphics card has it got in there? It's the AMD Radeon 6650 with one gig of DDR3 VRAM. Okay, thanks very much. No problem.